Amazing water trick. Do you think hot and cold water mix together? And if they do, does it happen quickly or does it take time? Let us perform this experiment to know more. Materials required are two identical small wide mouth jars, hot water, cold water, food coloring, a square shaped glossy card, scissors, a large shallow baking pan. Procedure Fill one of the jars with hot water. Add a drop of red food coloring. Watch for a minute. Then put the red jar into the baking pan. Fill the other jar with cold water. Add a drop of blue food coloring. Slowly add more water to the blue jar until you can see a bulge of water over the rim of the jar. Lay the square card carefully onto the top of the blue jar. Tap the card gently with your finger. The card should be flat and form a seal with the water and the jar. Now, pick up the blue jar and carefully turn it straight upside down. You don't need to put your hand on the card. The water will hold the card in place. Put the upside down blue jar right on top of the red jar. Have someone hold on to both the jars while you very slowly and carefully pull the card out. You will get a purple colored solution. Empty both jars, rinse them. Again, prepare blue colored cold water in one jar and red colored hot water in the other jar. And put the card on top of the jar with the red colored hot water. Turn the red jar upside down and put it on top of the blue jar. Slowly pull out the card. You will see that the red colored hot water is floating on the top of the blue colored cold water. What is happening? In hot water, the water molecules have high amount of energy and are moving very fast. They bounce off each other and move further apart. Because there is more space between the molecules, a volume of hot water has fewer molecules in it and weighs a little bit less than the same volume of cold water. So, hot water is less dense than cold water. When you put the two together with hot water on the bottom, the hot water rises to the top, mixing the cold water along the way and creating purple water. When the cold water is on the bottom, the hot water does not have to rise, it's already on top. The cold blue water stays at the bottom and the hot red water stays on top.